Hey everyone, we're going to do a, a very simple hair jig. You've seen it on my channel um, a long time ago, uh, but for those that haven't, this is a rabbit strip hair jig. Uh, we're getting close to the point where um, my water is going to be on ice out and these things I originally tied for river smallmouth, but they work fantastic for largemouth. And the head I use, uh, it really doesn't matter much. I say either use a small uh, football head or a ball head because the rabbit is really buoyant and it'll keep it up off the bottom. Uh, the worm nose head, mushroom style heads work really well, as does the Midwest finesse. But this here in the vise, we have a one eighth ounce. Um, this is the Randy Howe shaky head. You can see I cut that barb off the back. Uh, the color is this is Barlow's uh, veined powder paint. It's the white with silver vein. Awesome, awesome color. I'm I'm really liking this. It's the first couple that I've done with this paint. Uh, again, you can and there's a lot of different things you can do with this. Um, I'm going to show you one that I like. This, of course, this is a new pattern. I'm just calling it uh, white shad. It's the easiest thing uh, to do and. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to put our white zonker strip on. And all I do is I know where I'm going to tie it in at. So I just got to see where uh, it falls as far as the hook bend. And keep it in the center without. Cutting yourself or pushing it. Puncturing yourself is the, the term I was looking for. Now I want to put this in the vise without getting the hair caught. Okay. We got that in. Now I'm going to, by the way, one eighth ounce Randy Howell finesse shaky head with a one aught victory 10 111 hook. And we're going to take a little bit of super glue brush on, just a little bit on the top of that collar to lock our thread down. And we're going to use white 210 denier flat wax nylon. And I'm only going to put a short base on here, maybe about halfway down that collar. Trim off our excess. Wait, you see how easy this is. And they're super effective. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I'm just going to put that end down. Really crank it down. That's done. You could, you could literally use it just like that, and it's fine. I like to doctor them up a little bit. In this case, we're going to take some um, UV Pearl polar chenille I love this stuff I'm just going to tie it in by the tip part there and then we're going to wrap it 
And what I'm going to do is, of course, I'm going to preen down just like wrapping a feather. You know, we're going to palmer this, make sure our little strands are facing back. Don't want to flatten too many strands down. Oh, I didn't. I thought I made it all the way through there. That's the other thing. The eyes. Can't see it too good with all that white. And we'll whip finish it. One, two, three, four. Don't need to be really crank it down and four more. I don't use any head cement on this. I've never had one ever. And I have used these for a long, long time, and I've never had one come apart. And I'll get the cl uh, clamp, and I'll show you what we have. I'll get my hair straightened out here. There it is. In fact, we can take it out of the clamp. That's what it's going to be on the bottom. Real easy. And and these heads, um, this Randy Howell head, it actually stands up pretty well. But there you have it. That's our rabbit strip hair jig with our polar chenille. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.